Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Ned from Nev's Tech, but otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. Coming from the internet, I can tell you a lot about various... Because anyways, this particular comes to us from Lenovo. This is Lenovo M80S, much like the M70s, much like the other small form factor units we see kicking around all the time everywhere. Um, we'll have a look at the inside, we'll have a look at the back, but we got uh, four USB ports in the front, one USB-C headset microphone the place where it looks like you should be able to put an sd card in but you definitely cannot this is uh i5 10th generation so first off let's take it through a benchmark and see how good we can get it of course for benchmarking we use passmark benchmark 10. okay we got direct x9 rocking at it about 20 frames per second not so bad i've definitely seen it faster than that but uh could be worse next up of course we got direct x11 going at about uh five frames per second max but that's about the status quo with any of these systems of course there is not a video card on the inside of this thing at the moment 25 frames per second on direct x11 not so bad could be better though 13 frames per second direct x12 not so bad actually that's relatively smooth once again considering the fact there is no video card on the inside of this just the one attached to the cpu die okay so here are our overall results which is interesting because this matches my barracuda drive that i tore apart it had an i7 6th generation so 6th generation i7 matches a 10th generation i5 okay let's get a closer look at this lady shall we? Mon Dieu, check that out. That's like 12 cores or logical cores. You know what I mean. 12 cores seems like a lot for an i5, my guys. Also, we got 8 gigs of RAM. All right, so next up, let's take a look at the inside of this beast. We just uh, popped the back off. Really nice, really easy. You can see we got a little power supply back there. And clip, clip, clip. And pull that section off. And then you can see here what we got on the front. And now I have to remember the button, this button. But take that button off, top flips right up. And there you go. You can see four spots for RAM, which is beautiful. I love more spots for RAM. More RAM, more furry prawns. That's what I'm talking about, folks. So, of course, we have the M.2 card over here. And then right here, we have a spot that you can put another hard drive, which is pretty good my guys not so bad not so bad this particular unit has no vga and before you start jumping down my throat saying we don't need vga we need vga because it just always works and it doesn't need drivers seriously though i can't see why they wouldn't have a vga but they would have a serial adapter all right folks next up with the power of the kernel let's test out some of the audio games on this unit shall we all right, Colonel, I'm going to need some help with this. I need you to be my wingman, okay? Guard my back. Watch what I'm doing. All right, it should be said that I am absolutely not in performance mode. Riding the bus. The bus looks okay. And I'm uh, descending at about 20 frames per second. I was on the bus at about 40 frames per second. Yeah, this stuff all looks pretty rough, I gotta say. But it feels really smooth. I'm not getting any jerkiness on here. Oh, wow, what's that? They always add so many cool new things to this game. Finally, some action. Somebody's aggro in a shark. That's not the smartest idea. Hey, you stole my kill. What the hell, Mr. Shark? I'm gonna take you down now. That's what you get for stealing my kill, Mr. Shark. I don't get it. Why was that guy shooting at the shark from the water? Why wouldn't he have shot at it from the land? Oh, look, some more action. Well, that's new to me. I don't even know if I can shoot through that. It should be said that Grand Theft Auto definitely works on this, but uh, the screen size is for ants. There's like, you know, nothing there. But it's the kind of thing that if you really had to play this game to get away from your mother-in-law or your in-laws, you know, you could, you could kind of get away with playing it. You could kind of. Now, a lot of people ask me, Nevin, when you're doing these reviews on Lenovo's, how come you review video games? And I'll tell you that I always get people requesting me to do these types of things. Now, this system, though it is a Lenovo system, and it is meant for office, it's amazing how often this stuff ends up going secondhand to uh, individuals who just use it for private or personal use, and they wanna know if the video games will work on it. Well, 
kind of, but you definitely want a better video card and there's room for it. Just remember to use low profile, folks. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me and the Colonel. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. It helps me out. It helps my family out. And uh, as usual, folks, more importantly, take care of each other, please. Have a good one.